Hey guys, I'm Rosavane, and welcome back to another episode of Paradise Killer. Labs, 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 Sorry, I'm just making fun of myself for flubbing up the words. Uh, last episode, we basically talked with Cosmic Acid, and we got some information out of her, and we really, really valuable information out of her. We got the pa Cosmos password, so now we can hack some of the stuff we need to hack. Um, but we're here at this pier side to talk to Lydia because she was the most convenient person next that we could have just got to and begin talking with at the same time. So let's talk to her. Lydia Daybreak. Lydia Daybreak, the fairy woman. Alright, so yeah, we can hang out with her. Let's do that first. Let's ride. Lydia Daybreak. I couldn't read the side stuff. Let's go enough. for a drive, LD. What lead you to the life of an assassin? But damn it, LD! How come you've always- how come you're asking me about this now? I was born to investigate. <laughs> I was born to investigate. We never talked about it before my exile. What the hell are you talking about? And now a mass murder is, happens and you happen to bring it up? Uh, Not the bad guy or time to think. I'll say not the bad I guy. I need to investigate this. Don't make me out to be the bad guy. I've just got a job to do. Sorry, LD. Tensions are high. It's complicated. I don't think, like, I don't like to talk about, about it. You know, that's behind me. That's behind me. Being an assassin was simple. You don't have to worry about a lot of once you got you get good at it. Find the target, learn the target, end the target. It's complicated. Love though, that's complicated. That's why I drive and paint. I've all I always needed a skill to master. Uh. You got a new car since I've gone. I've been gone. She's pretty, ain't it? Ain't she? Upgraded. Got bored to the muscle car look. Masahiro offered to re refit the old girl, but I wanted a change. So she is burn Parliament. Uh. I guess I'll be a little wistful. A lot of memories cruising in the old girl. Endless summer nights, right, LB? Endless possibility. Things were simpler. Things are so messed up now. The way of the world. Good talk, LD. Be cool if I drop you at the beach, LD? Thank you. Sure thing. Thanks for the ride. Relationship increased. Cool. Yeah, we're back here again. Um. So we get to know a little bit of Lydia in terms of having what her previous car was a muscle, and now it's a different car here. I'm guessing it's like a different car entirely. I don't know what the car models are. I'm not a, I'm not a car junkie, so I don't really know. So excuse me for that. All right, so case files. Uh, let's see about KHX. This is the easiest going that I'll always ask first because I want to see what they think about the guy. Like, why is he gone? Ask about KHX. What do you know about KHX's disappearance? Haven't seen him around in a while, Eddie. Was hoping he'd turned up on my list of pickups last night. I thought he was just taking some time out, but he'd be ready to go to the next island. Come on, LD. I guess something ha bad happened. Have you poked around his place in the mountain? Oh, he has a place in the mountains. Okay. Yeah, so let's probably... So if we want to investigate KJX a little bit more, it seems like we need to go to his mountain home state, I guess. So we'll see what happens there. Um, what is Lydia's alibi? Yeah. Where were you at the time of the murder? Sammy had packed up his bar, so he packed up his bar, so I picked him up. It was his turn to go through the Paradise Gates to the next island. I took him over there, but. Before we could go through, they locked in response to the murder. I see, so she was doing her job still. Will the logs at the gates confirm this? Should do. We started the warm-up procedure, but then it shut down. Ooh, the investigator is here. What's the deal with the warm-up procedure? You can't walk through the paradise gates. They're connected to another reality. It takes a lot of power to move between the realities, and it's a complicated procedure. Procedure. The gates need some time to draw enough power and, and do the calculations to get you to the next island. How is that different to just driving around the island? 
we're not hoping between we're not hoping between realities on the island so we can just cruise <laughs> just a bit of single reality driving huh <laughs> you got it holler at me when anytime you want to go, want to go for a cruise LD okay so that so she was basically doing her job when the crime happened um I don't think she has anything to do with crimson I feel like so she won't know because when she's driving to the gates. I don't think she would have enough time to know where Crimson would be at, but it's worth the ask, I, I guess. Did you see Crimson last night? Huh? Have you asked her yourself, Lady? I didn't see her last night. Okay, so that's definitely the case. I kind of knew that was going to be a pointless ask. <laughs> Any suspicions? Uh, yeah. Let's see what she what she thinks about the council problems. Do you have any problems with the council? I'm glad you're back, LD. Nope. Me and Sammy are just living our lives, LD. We're not the we're not into politics and scheming on the island. I don't like this. What about the rest of the syndicate? Anyone come up to mind come up to mind that has a grudge against the council? What the hell are you talking about? This is a dark line of questioning, LD. Come on, LD. If people find out if I've said anything, I'd be a target on them. Be a target for them. You're an ex-assassin that's cooperating with the lead investigator. You're will, you'll be fine. <laughs> I need your help, Lydia. I've been gone so long. Things are weird on this island. The island feels bad, LD. You're telling me. Okay. Because it's you. I started to worry about a couple of people. Bullshit. Yuri's up to no good. Sure. What makes you say that? We'll get into that later. Carmelina's the other one. <gasps> the architect? Why? Complicated. Gut feeling, LD. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, let's see what she thinks about Henry, though. You're buying this Henry story? It's complicated. I hope it's him, LD. If it was one of us, the syndicate could collapse. Would collapse. Akiko-chan found him at the scene. He had a knife with the victim's blood, right? That paints a pretty convincing picture. Sure. Maybe it's a little too convincing. Weird. You think something else is going on, LD? My job's to... yeah, I'll say to check. I don't, but I have to check. Got it. A demon possessed citizen with a grudge makes this a nice, simple case. Nice. Okay. Um... Yeah, we need to talk more about these motives again. Uh... I like how you can still ask about Lydia and Sam's motive. <laughs> Alright, uh, what does she have about Henry's escape? What do you know about the escape last night? You read the, re you read the report, LD? That's all I know. I, you'd have to ask Akiko-chan yourself. Okay, so Akiko kind of has all the records of what happened to Henry. Henry's possession. What do you think about Henry's demonic possession 10 years ago? Henry caused the demons to corrupt this island, LD. You see in the dead zone? It's a nightmare rift we're, allow we're not allowed into. If you're looking into more answers, try in there. I've already been there and I already looked at all the, the things we could. We still need to get the code to, the passcode to his locker or his uh, safe box because apparently that's what we're missing. Alright, let's see what her motives are. Your motive. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to ask about this, Lydia. Do you have a motive for killing the council? I get it, LD. Just doing your job. Nah, me and Sammy haven't got a reason to hit the syndicate like this. Ah. Uh. You're happy here? I'm glad you're back, LD. As anyone can be. Been writing, been writing lyrics, Lydia? What are you talking about, LD? Got it. I found these lyrics in the bottle. The island feels bad. No way. That's embarrassing. I should have known the rides around this island was junk. I assume they have something, they have some meaning. I'm glad you're back, LD. Never ask a songwriter about their lyrics, LD. If you haven't, if you can't intuit the meaning, you weren't meant to know. So I guess the bottle message was just random. Probably because it's not necessarily anything big. But I think that bottle message will probably help in talking to Sammy a bit, I guess. Okay, let's see what she has to think about these two. Carmelina. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's talk about your suspicions about Carmelina. Calm's a genius, LD. It's complicated. The next island will 
probably be perfect. She'll be crafted a masterpiece. She she'll have crafted a masterpiece. Come on, LD. You probably heard people talking about Montserrat. He was getting paranoid and he was getting arrogant. Come on, LD. For some people, honing their craft is enough. Others would need rewards. I don't know if Montserrat was the credit giving was in the credit giving frame of mind. What the hell? A slighted genius? Maybe. <clears throat> so basically, Montserrat doesn't like art, and he's willing to disable people, or not disable, but like destroy people for their art. So he, that means that he's probably gonna say that he would. No, no, he's not giving credits. Oh, I, I think I know what that means now. He's, she's saying that he's stealing art instead and making it his own, isn't it? If that is the case, yeah, then that gives Car Carmelina some credits to try and, like, get rid of the council because they're going to get in her way or try to take her art from her or him. I don't know. We'll see. Yuri. Has Yuri got a motive for killing the council? What the hell are you talking about? He's ambitious and wants power. <coughs> What the hell are you talking about? I don't know about ambitious, but having wanting power definitely. I would guess that would be a powerful motive. He hasn't earned it though. Unearned power is bad news, LD. Oh shit. He used to be sm small time, a crappy little kid, but one day he got buff. One day? Weird. Yeah, it was weird. Also, almost overnight he became handsome. Got six pack abs and started to be charming. If you can prove it, sure. His charm's fake though. He's trying to get his own way all the time. Be careful with him. He's been trying to push his own agenda on the council, but it's never gone well. Montserrat has fixed was fixed on his plan. You heard he wasn't going to push him around. Was was going to push him around. I had a bad feeling about him a while back and pulled some records from the moon database. Here, take them. Wow, she actually has information on him. <laughs> Try asking Sammy as well. People get loose lips in a bar. Okay, so she's telling us to visit Sammy anyways. LD, I have something I think I, we should discuss. Oh, okay, so that, that thing remains pink because we, we've already... We can come, come back if there's more stuff about it. What's up? Something you want to tell me? You have something you want to tell me? Tell the investigation? Come on, LD. This is a sensitive subject, LD. For who? It's about someone on the island that it- but it might be something you don't want to hear about. I'm an investigator. The truth doesn't care about feelings. You know I told you about that Yuri suddenly got ripped overnight. He became a new person. What if it was a god that did it? You mean a blessing? Huh? Deception. That's dangerous talk. The goddess Enchanted Blue bestows physical gifts in return for devotion. It's complicated. Devotion by a god is a crime. I don't want to be... I don't want to just accuse him. I have a bad feeling about this. What makes you so sure? He's been going on and on about retrieving her body. She's dormant in the Sahara caverns in the real world. Yuri wants the council to authorize an op to go and get her. That's suicide. Enchanted Blue is guarded by elite custodians. I know. That's no- there's no way Montserrat would have let it happen. I think it's why he's been, been pushing to get to the council. If he's been deceived, would he really kill the council? He's not going to be on the new council. It's but if he doesn't stop until he is? Interesting. I'll keep this, your suspicion a, a secret, but I'll look into it. Thanks, Lee. I see. I like how Enchanted Blue is a god, but the god is like a tablet color. <laughs> because the, 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 the enchanted blue we know is like only in terms of like carvings. May your specter gaze upon the star. And may you reach the moon. Alright, that was a lot of good information and a lot of good stuff coming out of uh, coming out of Lydia. I really appreciate the story writing to her character a little bit. Yeah, that was 18, okay. Yeah, this is the oldest save. I'm on a new day, so... I'm gonna be saving on a new save. Because we're on a new episode. Yeah, so, like, basically... A lot of information coming out of Lydia. I wanna get a picture in here, at least. 
Uh, no, like this. There we go. Yeah, taking sneak pics. You know what's funny? I, like, I take pictures on Steam a lot nowadays. I screenshot a lot of my games that I play. Uh, even the ones I don't really record. Um, but essentially I just like taking screenshots nowadays for some reason. <laughs> I think I just got, like, I, I was looking at other people's Steam profile pics, and I was like, or Steam profile, uh, stuff. And I was like, they have a lot of screenshots. That's really nice. That's really nice. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a lot of screenshots for myself, just for fun. Because, for one, it encourages people to play, I guess, when people look at my account. It encourages to play the certain games I play. Like, my friends, I feel like, notices those pictures and be like, oh, I want to try that out. It looks interesting. Um, but then again, it also can spoil the story, because I take pictures of some spoiling parts, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh. it's whatever. I can't. Yeah, I don't think I can. I need to like sacrifice some crests. I don't think I have enough. Oh no, I do have enough. Oh. Okay. Blood crystal so I just did it for blood crystals. That's kind of lame. I thought it would be a relic or something. All right, whatever. Bought the machine. Right. Um. I'm trying to think. Yeah, so let's go and look for some more things to talk about. Let's look for more people to talk to, I mean, not talk about. Right, we talked to Lydia. She gave us a lot of valuable information. I really like the fact that she has some character in her readings. Like, the way she speaks really is really cool, and I like it. Wait, is that a footpath? That I... I think I took that footpath. Right. I think. Okay. I believe this is the footpath I would purchase. Yeah, because I randomly stumbled upon it, I think, last time. Yeah, I already activated the footbath, yeah. There should be one more footbath that I remember looking at, but then... Like, literally gave up on it for no reason. Which I should have taken the footbath when I last saw the first one. Yeah, because there was one footbath I just ignored because I didn't know what it did. What it, what it did, and it, I didn't know... To what effect, or like the cost of it? Like there was like a cost to it that it scared me away from actually doing it. So yeah, who knows? Oops. Over here, I'll take that. Yeah, I just want to get through the space a little bit more. But yeah, otherwise I think Lydia's story was really cool, and I like the fact that the investigation is really like the investigation for so for, so far based on Lydia and Crimson Acid. Are really well written. I really like how they're written so far. Um, though there are some grammatical mistakes, it's not really gonna bother me as much, but it's just like... Or like it could have been read a little bit differently that made it better, but it's totally fine. I don't I don't blame it though. What is this? Citizen services. I can't even go in here though. Okay. I hear like... Huh? Oh, there it is. Another red press. Alright. We were just missing- Oh, there's the footpath. That's what I was talking about. This is the footpath that I walked away from because I was like, I don't know how this works. <laughs> An oasis in the tropical thing. Yes. The investigator is here. These islands are weird. These islands are weird achievement unlocked. So that means that I unlocked the last footpath. This is the last footpath that we can only unlock. So the water in paradise is good. My feet feels pretty light. Must be the mountain water. That's strange. Hey, I do feel a lot lighter on my feet. This is strange. <gasps> it feels like I could double jump. Hop right over these walls. Double jump on rope. <laughs> so we just tap into the midair. Sure. Funny enough, <gasps> I I hate to say this, but I've also done double jumps in my games. In one of my games. <laughs> it's just hilarious to me. Honestly, this is really bringing me back to my student projects or my side projects that I worked on in Unreal. <laughs> really easy to make, but it's like... Yeah, okay, so yeah, you can double jump dash. Okay. Yeah, these things... The double jumps are great for, like, if you're traversing a lot of times. Like, you're trying to traverse through as much spaces as you can. So that you can, like, get things kind of out of the way. 
I need more crests. I need one... Two more crests, it looks like. Two more crest spots that needs to be... Obtained before we can actually... Here's something. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> what is this? The god dying from sadness is a sentient rock that drifts to earth in the cosmic wake of the other gods. A renowned despair philosopher. Okay. Huh? Somewhere around here. It's getting closer. Oh, there it is. It's just a blood crystal. I just mistaken it as something important. Oh, there's another red crest. Okay, so we got one more red crest to grab before we can actually conf uh, before we can officially unlock whatever that thing that thing gives us. I'm thinking the elevator for the first time though, for this one. Because I've never actually went through this elevator before. What is that? Oh, it's just some lighting. What am I looking for up here? Oh, the Shinji. <laughs> oh, Shinji. What is that? There's something down there with a blue crest. Okay. This is a paradise killer! The investigation thriller! Uh, 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 what the hell? What are you doing, Shinji? Just rhyming, flowing, spitting fire on the top, off the top? Can't you just give me some space? I'm working on something here. <laughs> Strange. I want to jump down and grab the blue press, but I don't want to risk it right now. But, like, I want to see what's on the top here first before going down there for whatever reasons. Man, I like the fact that there's a view up here. What is this? What do you want? Oh, okay, so the blue crest that I saw literally down there was gonna be exactly for this particular, like, thing. I mean, again, I'm glad there's no, like, fall damage, but holy heck, this is gonna, gonna be annoying. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a yacht with a blood crystal at the tip. I don't know if that's a place we've been to before or not. That spot right there, like, that I'm looking at directly. I don't know if that's the spot we've been to. Out of curiosity, I'm wondering if that is the spot we haven't been to at all. We also haven't been to those two big domes at the top of there either, so I'm probably curious about us visiting that as well. And just getting a good view of what we miss or what we what we're gonna try to like get to, I think. There we go. Yeah, let's go up to the top. Yeah, I'm thinking about it and I was like, mm, should I do it? Just put the blue press up to the top of the the thing and then see where it takes us from there. Because I am curious. Is that another Shinji over there? For Christ's sake, Shinji. Stop being everywhere. <laughs> Shinji's like almost everywhere and anywhere. I am also curious if he shows up twice on your screen if he ever does. I've never actually paid attention to him. Press fit. <laughs> More blood crystals always. I'm guessing this is the, the the sad one, the sad god. Yeah, how do you get up to the lair? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get going. Oh no! Oh no! This is making me. <laughs> I see. So basically. I've actually noticed this, but basically the uh, when you're falling, gravity gets kind of added like immensely, and you kind of basically fall like really hard down. It seems like yeah, I have a feeling because it's like I didn't, I couldn't like dash, and it didn't, it didn't become floaty. It just literally accumulated all the gravity like all the way down to the point where I finally landed. Looks like I need to collect more. I don't know. Uh, because I need one more. So we need one more red crystal crest. Which I have no clue where it's at. And where the hell does this take me? 
Oh, this takes me down to the to the pier that we saw earlier. Yeah, it takes us down to the pier. I think it's broken on the system down here somewhere. Yeah, we can go over there, I guess. Dr. Doom Jazz. Should we investigate Dr. Doom Jazz? I mean, I want to get more clues on him before we get to him, at least. Oh, I didn't install this yet. How stupid of me. I totally I totally forgot about it once I collected it. I forgot to install it all that time. Crimson Acid Testimony, HQ Log, Back Door. Um, yeah, there's some information about him. Yuri Knight has a lot of bad bad blood or bad stuff going on him already. Like a lot of bad things on him. Kamalina Silence, going for architecture stuff. Okay, okay. Doing whatever it takes to leave your home. Okay. I'm just looking at the information we got so far. Boat rides shut down, space helmets. KJ KHX has nothing. Nobody has anything, it seems like. Yeah, we don't have much on KHX still. Hum the the library vault stuff for the possession is interesting because Yuri's involved somehow with that. So that's an interesting part too as well because he's like involved but he doesn't have much you can say about it. No alibi. Okay. Yeah, you guys can pause and read those because I'm just like skimming through as much of the information we've got so far. One last kiss, we need to find her, yeah. Okay, um... I'm kind of curious if I should... I want to avoid Doom Jazz for a little bit, because I want to... I want to pick up more information against him. Doom Jazz is suspicious, Yuri is suspicious, Akiko is not that suspicious, so that's why I'm wanting to talk to her when I can. Uh, Yuri isn't is suspicious so that's given um yuri doom jazz are going to be my last people i want to talk to because they're both super suspicious for some other reasons akiko's a little bit suspicious but i need to talk to her because she is preventing me from investigating the proper locations we need to investigate which is including the marshall's location i need to also scan out for the red crest this is the best way to scan it out, I think, quickly. Nothing there. There's one thing over here which I'm not sure what this is. Another blood crystal. I'll take it, whatever. Um. Yeah, like, I want to pick up against... Yuri and Doom Jazz at the last part. I'll probably talk to Sammy eventually, I'm pretty sure. Sammy, Carmelina, Akiko, Henry might be similar to that, where I would put him to last to talk about or talk to. Uh, it seems like Prince and Acid is available to talk to again. Yeah, let's go talk to Akiko. I am very genuinely wanting to talk to Akiko all the time, but I just didn't know when we should do it, so... I feel like the time is right to try to chase after where she's at so we can talk to her at least. Right there. It makes me think of like a lot of the parkour games that comes into play for this kind of thing, where we're just double jumping and dashing. <laughs> we have, have we unlocked this? Oh, we did. Okay. Let me save, actually. Just in case I get stuck or something random happens that I don't like happening. Getting saved. Oh, we're almost out of time too. Oof. Okay. Um... Where is Akiko? She's right behind this one. Right there. Okay, let's go that way. Now, I want to meet up with Akiko at least. Um... I mean, we're not worried about- I'm not pressed for, like, collectible stuff, but I'm just gonna look around for some collectibles. Um, there's a thing up here, so it's like... What is this? Oh, it's the blood crystal thing again. Oh no, no! Oh, jeez. Oh no! Oh, 
Okay, that works, I guess. I was like, can I not get this? It's like, not again? Kind of thing. Alright, let's see where is Akiko from here. Wait, is there another dead victim over there? Or is that the crime scene, I guess? Where's Akiko? Oh, there she is. Wait, why is she so far off? Okay, so we need to get some way to get in here, I guess. Uh, there we go. What do you want, freak? The investigator is here. What's your deal? Security. After last night, I'm here to man the bridge controls. That's strange. Why? These are the only controls. The Grand, Mas the Grand Marshal is guard guarding the killer. If he escapes again, which, we w which he won't, I'm here to raise the bridge. The investigator is here. Good, just in time. Glad Paradise is safe now. Okay, so he's here to guard the bridge. Huh? Is there a reason for this door to exist? The door leads to the barracks. It's a secure tunnel to the desolation cell, where Henry is incarcerated. It is decoded only to Akiko's blood vial. Oh. So the only way into the barracks is through Akiko, basically. I like how he's just a little... <laughs> he's literally a flat texture. <laughs> Nightmare computer, please. Okay, I like my we can literally decipher it. Uh, worship? No. It's gotta be a goat, because... It's strange to, like... Not have it be this, I guess. There we go. Uh, this and this. Skull again, I'll take that. And then tiny little horns. There we go. Let's see what information we got. Oh no, that's to unlock the bridge. Wait, wouldn't this guy be pissed if I'm unlocking the bridge? Leave. Okay, well I'm leaving to the literal thing that he told me not that he's guarding. Like, I don't get it. Why would you not... Why would you not be, like, protecting this bridge with your life? But also, how the hell do I get out of this bridge if I wanted to go back to the island? So, that's beyond me, I guess. Alright, once we get over here to the prison, which is starting to look kind of funky here, like the coloring a little bit. Um, but once we get through this bridge and save, if we can save over here, then I'll save. But if not, then I'll just head back, I guess, somehow. Yeah, we can save. Okay. Alright. Yes, oh, Skin bridge to no bridge to nowhere. Starlight skin obtained. This bridge appears when the planet planets align. Those who walk across the bridge travel to a new reality. Trapped there when the bridge disappears. Okay. All right. Let's save, and I will call it a day for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Nothing Minds. Hope you guys have an amazing day. We're gonna or whenever we're watching this. Uh, next episode, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Akiko. And probably see what she has to say about this person. I'm guessing we're going to talk to Henry here as well, forcefully, because apparently he is here with her, apparently. So we have to talk to him too, as well, uh, when we can. <coughs> so the next episode will be a more investigating kind of thing. And then the following episode, we'll go back to collectible stuff again. So I can collect some more blood crystals. Maybe collect some more relics if I can find more of them. Maybe more other stuff, I guess. I mean, we re we've already got all the foot, ba we foot baths we need. So I think we can get some of the stuff that we have missed out on. Like, there was one gate I didn't understand how to get past. But found out that we have the two abilities to finally hop over that fence to get that blood crystal that we saw last time uh, in episode 7 or something like that. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one or another view of mine. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can have two more watching this. So far, I'm really enjoying the writing for this, and it's really nice, and I like it. Uh, and I like the fact that we have abilities that <laughs> help us travel around. So I'm looking forward to that some more. Um, other than that, that's it for this episode. Roz, out.